This is the Aurea 76-in-1 electronics repair kit for small electronics. It comes in this uh, nice canvas bag case, if you want to call it. Has a little wrist strap or whatever to carry it around. Velcro. We'll open that up. And you can see there are just an awful lot of tools in here. So, and there's even a pocket over here. So we're going to go through everything. I'll pull everything out to make it easier for us to see. We'll start with the screwdriver set. The main star of the show is going to be this screwdriver set. This includes bits of uh, all different shapes and sizes. There's an entire gallimaufry of different bits here. There are Torx, there's Hex, there's Tri-Wing, there's Flat, there's Phillips. There's even these little uh, socket looking things here which I think would be good for uh, like when building PCs to put the little standoffs in to the case. Um, also included, there's two other bits in here. This is some sort of Phillips looking bit and the other one I can't seem to get out of there. Looks to be also a very very small Phillips bit that there's no room for in here. There are a total of 56 bits in all including these two. The driver itself is very well constructed and has a number of nice features about it. Let's take it out here. First of all it has a really nice grip. Let me get you a close-up of that so you can see all the little dots on there. Uh, that ensures that your hand won't slip on it. Another nice thing is the spinning cap because that will allow you to turn the driver like this even with one hand without having to keep moving your hand off of it because the handle would get caught on your hand. This doesn't have that problem because it has the spinning cap. Also has sort of like a chuck here and this pulls out. This is an extension piece and it can lock in a number of different positions. You just pull it back and you know it'll snap into anywhere you want really like that. So now you can make it longer or shorter as you need. Also included is the flexible piece here that goes in, whoopsie, there we go. And this you can install whatever bit you'd like in here and you can see how it bends and it'll turn so you can access things in hard to reach areas. The bits are magnetic so they stay in there and will also uh, ensure that uh, the screws that you pick up will stay uh, steadfastly to the driver. Also included is this bit here and what this is is an adapter piece for a standard quarter inch drive you can see that that is certainly not a quarter of an inch but that will fit in there then you can take any other tool this happens to be an electric screwdriver but you can use a regular one that has a quarter inch drive and drive your bits just like that so here's an old laptop laying around and you can see how nice the driver actually works. Magnetic, so the screw comes out with the driver, and this makes very quick work of disassembling something, especially with the spinning cap at the top. So you can see how you can just get screws out very, very quickly here without much fuss at all and that's all due to the spinning cap on this driver and the non-slip grip that it has. So the bit set is an absolute score and if nothing else uh, you will be very happy using this just because of the driver itself being so well constructed. Plus, you know, like I said, not to mention with all the other features like the bendy piece here and that you can extend this if you need to make it longer and shorter. This is really going to be the star of the show, but there's a lot more to go. 
and over here is uh, all kinds of tools. They give you a ruler that's wrapped up in this uh, little plastic thing. It's inch on one side and metric on the other. It's a six inch ruler. The apple black stick. Now I, in my practice, have never really had much use for this, but it is a very useful tool. It can be used as a spudger, as you can see with the nice sharp, very flat tip that's on it. It has a hook on it as well. Okay, and a little pointy thing, which is very good for working with laptops when you have those little connectors that you just have to get in there. This is nice and flexible as well, so it'll, you know, but at the same time very rigid, so you'll be able to like pop up those little clips on either side and uh, stuff like that. There's a bunch of uh, spades, spoons, and spudgers here. Uh, really, these type of tools, rather than my explaining it, these are the kind of tools that you didn't know you needed until you needed them. If you get this kit, you'll have this, and if you do a lot of electronics repair, you'll say, hmm, I probably have a tool for that, and you'll find something like this with its little spoon edge will be real handy in popping open a case, and I'll give you an example of that a little bit later on. So they give you a, a very pointy thing here, be careful because it is very sharp, as well as a small spoon. This here has a pointed tip and a blunt edge, but again also very thin. And this is a large spoon and shovel. Okay, these are a little bit thicker, so these are going to be used probably more for LCD screens on laptops than that. This is standard small utility knife. This is great for more than you'd ever imagine. Not just for cutting things, not just for holding things down, but it also works great on LCD screens, and I'll show you that as well. And over here are a number of different tweezers. Okay, these are very, very, very sharp. They have a curved tip. These also are very, very sharp. These are a straight. And these have more of a blunt edge on them, as you can see like that. Okay. Then they give you plastic spoons and spudgers and things like that. These also are useful for popping bezels off of things. There's different sizes and shapes here and stuff like that. So once again, these are the kind of things that you didn't know you needed until you need them. And once you have them, they will be absolutely indispensable. Rounding out the set is a electrostatic discharge wrist strap with alligator clip. This also snaps off over here. And the strap, of course, is adjustable to fit your particular wrist and it's elastic. And lastly is a suction cup and coupled to that is this little pointy thing. Kind of looks like a paper clip but it's not. This is also a very useful tool for holding down little things uh, that you have in very close proximity where you can't get your finger in because your fingers would be I mean look at that tip and look at the size of my finger your fingers seriously Will just be too fat to get in there So if you can put an extension on your finger and use just that little tip Then you got it like that and the suction cup is useful for LCD screens tablet screens and things like that as well So let me show you how one of these works this is an old Kobo e-reader, which uh, apparently I need to recharge. I don't really use it. We'll take this thing, for example. I'll give you a close-up of that. And let's say you needed to open this up for some reason. Well, you have that nice edge that allows you to get underneath. And you can see how I'm able to pry that up. And you can leave it there to hold it. And then you can also use something like the spoon here to help lift like this, okay, and you keep going all around and you'll see that eventually 
you can keep uh, this seems to be working pretty well so we'll keep going with that like I said you don't know what you need until you need it but you can see this is making very quick work of this and you can imagine that this would work very well on cell phones and things like that as well uh, tablets for example any sort of these uh, new fangled electronic gadgets that we all have and need now and you can see that this made very quick work allowing you to pry very carefully but still maintaining the integrity of the unit your utility knife besides cutting things is also very useful for these little rubber or sometimes plastic bumpers that you have on laptop screens. A lot of them have gone away from this but you still find a fair number in service and you can just get in the corner right in between the bumper and the screen and you see how it peels away and then you can take that off. And a little pro tip when you're taking them off get yourself a piece of scotch tape double over the end so you can peel it off and stick them on the palm rest and then you can tape them down that way your shirt sleeve or anything doesn't get in the way so once again this was the Aurea 76 in 1 electronics toolkit there are a thousand and one different things that you can do with this finding out what those are is what you get from experience uh, there is a bunch of tools in here and like I said once again there are so many tools in here that many of them you won't use until you need them and once you've used them you will know that would be an absolutely indispensable tool for the next time great for servicing uh, laptop computers desktop computers uh, tablets cell phones watches calculators uh, anything like that even sunglasses all different bits all different spoons and spudgers and pointy things and bendy things and all kinds of great stuff in here definitely a very well put together well thought out kit for repairing your small electronics if you'd be interested in purchasing this item I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it on Amazon available for sale thank you for watching make sure you click like Make sure you click subscribe and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.